How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another Marvel Snap video. I have a really fun deck for you guys today. This uh, Toxic Annihilus deck It is by JJ Rolk. Me and Glazer actually did, I think it's on Glazer's channel, not my channel, um, on Snap Judgments. We actually did commentary on this deck and its game last week. And I loved it so much. I've been playing it all week and I decided to play it this week for my matchup in the Snap Judgments League. So you guys are gonna see that right after this. But really quick, let's talk about the video. Before I forget, I'm doing a giveaway. All you have to do is leave a comment, subscribe, like the video, and then you get an entry for every video that you comment on for the month of March. I'm gonna be giving away three season passes at the end of the month, so make sure you do that. I'm also gonna be doing some sort of giveaway for, um, as creators, we got some stuff to give away, some variants and things. Don't know how I'm quite I'm gonna do that yet, but you can follow me on Twitter, just subscribe here if you wanna know. Let's go over the deck really quick so I can show you guys the gameplay. We have, a toxic annihilus deck with man thing i am so happy to finally get to play man thing luke cage haven't played in a long time it has that luke cage negative power package with again luke cage typhoid mary man thing hazmat um, and yellow jacket and then it has a junk aspect to it with debris where you can make her rocks go negative one and then send them over with annihilus and then it has of course that annihilus package with sentry hood annihilus and then on top of all this because you're playing junk you're playing mysterio you're playing debris you're playing hood you have all these cards to make mockingbird relatively close to free i don't know how frequently i get her to free um the way jj Rogue plays his deck he likes to drop mysterio over zabu on turn two and that makes mockingbird get there um i'm still a big fan of playing zabu on turn two but i think he does pilot this deck a little bit better than me let's go through the turn order on turn one you're looking to play hood um get that demon so you can play that later in the game turn two zabu or mysterio i would experiment with both again i like zabu got a lot of four drops in this deck i like being able to play those for cheap and go four drop four drop but um try the mysterio play if you have mockingbird in hand maybe i'm not sure on turn three you're looking to play debris maybe an early loop cage i think an early loop cage i've been seeing a lot of rogues recently being played so maybe an early loop cage isn't the move um, if you've played Zabu, you can go a turn three Sentry, turn three Typhoid, depending on, on what's going on with your hand and with the locations. If you have a Nihilus in hand, playing a Sentry will be good. If you don't have a Nihilus in hand, you have to be a little bit careful about playing Sentry without filling up that right lane. One of the good things about the deck is you're able to fill up that right lane a little easier later on in the game, say with Debris, with a cheap Mockingbird, um, and then you can drop that sentry and not get that negative 10 if you don't have a Nihilus um, in hand. So turn four, sentry, Typhoid Mary, turn five. I like to save a Nihilus for the last turn, especially if you're playing a mirror. If you're not playing a mirror or another Nihilus deck, uh, you can play that on turn five. Again, I like saving it as that kind of surprise. I feel like a lot of people think you're gonna drop a Nihilus on turn five. You don't, they think you don't have it, so they play around it and then you drop it on turn six. Um, and then on turn six, here, you're gonna have to adapt whether you have that Luke Cage line where you can drop Luke Cage, Hazmat, um, or you went that Annihilus line where you have like Man Thing, some Junk, Sentry, the negative 10, you're gonna drop Annihilus and send that over and then play like the Demon, say that if you got that on turn one or a very cheap Mockingbird. Lots of play lines with this. It's not a super linear deck and that's why I like it. Deals a lot with negative power, um, a lot. It's a it's a little bit taste of, a little taste of both with some Junk, some, like Luke Cage hazmat type stuff, some Annihilus stuff, and it all really just fits together. And then Mockingbird is just the icing on the cake with this deck. So make sure you give it a shot. I'm gonna put my uh, week, I guess it's week three now, my week three matchup right after this. You could watch the gameplay and uh, enter the giveaway. As usual, if you love all things Marvel Snap, make sure you like and subscribe, hit the bell. I'll see you in the next one. Oh, also really quick, I forget. Um, Nick, Nick the Greek Geek. Uh, has a Twitter, has a Twitch. I'm gonna link all this stuff in the description. Make sure you check it out. Also, JJ Rolk, whose deck it is, I'm gonna put um, the deck and a link to his stuff in the description also. So make sure you follow them. Gameplay. Uh, turn one, passing here. We have Annihilus, so Sentry is not bad. Um, I like playing Yellow Jacket into Vortex. We also have the option of playing a hood into vortex, but yeah, it's probably better. Ooh, all right. 
I like the yellow jacket for debris. So let's play the hood here. And then something like debris into sentry into maybe a nihilist into Luke Cage. I like this. So depending on what we get in Black Vortex, we'll play the debris. Possibly get a rock in there. I mean, that's pretty good. Um, we are afraid of Shang-Chi, so we do want to try to plug that up as quick as possible. We can do that with um, a Yellow Jack and a Nihilist play. But I do like this. Those green goblin. So playing an Annihilus mirror. So we're going to want to be a little careful. He plays yellow jacket here. He's playing a very similar deck. Um, do we play the century or are we playing the Annihilus chess game? I still like century. He's probably not playing Shang if he's playing an Annihilus list. So I think we're relatively okay. The sentry is going to fill up asteroid though. Um, so we have a choice of like playing sentry yellow jacket like this so that the sentry doesn't move. Or we just play the sentry. This is tough. Let's go sentry yellow jacket. Let's just play it here. Keep the sentry mid, and then we always have the threat of uh, of a Nihilus. Plays Luke Cage. That's not that big of a deal for us. Wave is going to shift over. Opponent snapped. Um, he did snap here. I think we have to fight for these two lanes. Uh, maybe we don't even go for the Nihilus win. If he plays an Nihilus now, then we'll have to play an Nihilus left to try to win. I think that's fine. We could do this to play against uh, an Nihilus right now. I kind of like that too. Let's do this. If he plays the Nihilus, then... Uh, it was Hobgoblin. Uh, it's a good thing we clogged it. And the retreat. Perfect. Victory. Yeah, I guess it doesn't make sense for him to play Annihilus right there. Um, but it's good to know that he's playing Hobgoblin and Green Goblin. He could be... I, I'm saying he's playing Annihilus, but it's possible he's playing like a Galactus list. Some sort of a Goblin Galactus. I mean, could have Annihilus thrown in there. It would make sense too. But we don't know. Zabu turn two. Going to be our best bet. Into possibly like a Typhoid Mary. Elysium's pretty good. I think we'll just do this. Get that demon. Plays Jeff. Interesting list that he's playing. Um, I think we're going to continue to try to this is tough too because if he's playing like a green goblin here he could be playing it into Westview um, which case we don't want to clog it let's play the debris let's send stuff mid and left let's hold the demon no sense in uh, not playing that White Queen, the basic one. Um, so he has either a Typhoid Mary or Man Thing. Looks like we're going. We don't have Luke Cage. We don't have a Nihilus, so it's a little bit sketchy in which direction we're going here. Is tough. 
think we're just gonna drop man thing middle he's gonna play a green goblin or something into dimension will be relatively okay he plays green goblin mid um we're looking for him to possibly clog things up next turn so let's see we have four cards in hand we have one more draw if we want to go the luke cage route we have that opportunity if we want to go the hazmat route there the luke cage hazmat route we have the opportunity or we can set up for like a big annihilus play kind of like this and we can we can hold the sentry Or we play something like this, and uh, if he plays Hobgoblin, we at least can top deck an Annihilus. We can get our Luke Cage. We have a good amount of power out. Possibly this. It's tough. Okay, he moves the man thing. We have to play everything mid. Plays a Selene. We have Hazmat. If we can get our Luke Cage, Annihilus would be okay as well but i think luke cage is what we're most happy with all right so we did get luke cage we can go luke cage hazmat i would imagine that wins i don't know actually how much extra power is that going to be right that's going to be three extra subtract four on his end um add two so he'll be at 12 we'll be at 21 he'll have to play nine power over there six power move the jeff he'll have to play 12 power if he moves the jeff i think we're okay here then we kind of have some surprise power with uh, luke cage hazmat with in right so I think we just play this out. Not like happy to snap here, but willing to play it out. If he snaps, I'm, I'm still willing to play it out. Yeah. Victory. Still haven't seen the Annihilus. Still haven't seen like a Galactus. I'm leaning towards an Annihilus list though. Turn one Zabu. Uh, if he snaps, we're just retreating. We don't have anything to really go into Sanctum, especially because it's the left location. So we'll play as far as we can and then probably gonna retreat. Um, it goes Zabu. I know JJ played uh, Mysterio, Mysterio on turn two, um, in hopes that he draws like his Mockingbird. All right, we do have the debris play. Um, I think we just play debris mid though. It's possible we have some shenanigans with like negative power, um, debris, send stuff over. It's possible. It's not likely, but it's possible. Um, I also kind of like Typhoid Mary here. Plays a Jeff. We will be able to move the Jeff. Um, I guess now question is, is he going to telegraph the Hobgoblin? I actually kind of want him to. That way we can go Annihilus. Um... I like the Luke Cage play. Don't necessarily have to play Hood yet. We might play Hood and Eyeless next turn, depending on what happens. All right, he plays mid. Hmm. doesn't really do 
do anything. He's not going to clear up enough space there. So this is a possibility. We can even go yellow jacket here to clog up some space. Is that enough? I don't think so. I also, I still think it's worth staying. He's going to win here. We have to win these other two lanes. It goes Celine. So we're going to be okay there. Into the loot cage, into the hood. Yellow jacket, nebula, cannonball. We're good, right? Yeah. Close, but we're good there. Victory. I think an early snap from him there is probably the move. I think I'm retreating right away. He knows that I don't have anything that reaches into Sanctum. All right, just got to win three. Don't have a clear play line here. So just gonna play Hood, um, Hood, Zabu, Debris, but we don't have like a, are we going Luke Cage? Are we going Annihilus? I haven't quite figured that out yet. I like, I like playing the demon here. Uh, we also have the option to play Zabu and then Sentry there, I think is also really good. It's probably worth a snap with Shadowlands. I think a snap he retreats, but I'm okay with that. Let's just get our cubes. Sentry into Krakow is just really good. Not a lot can go wrong there. If it hits Yellow Jacket, that's fantastic. If it hits Luke Cage, fantastic. Literally anything. Place a Yellow Jacket out. Got Mockingbird almost to where we want her. A, a three power Mockingbird's really good, but. So it hits Luke Cage. Um, we can look to start to flood. Unfortunately, we don't have we have the option of just playing a mockingbird here we don't have annihilus we have two more draws for the annihilus so about a 50 50 shot there um, if we don't draw annihilus obviously we're giving up shadow land so i do like just playing the mockingbird left um other option is we play debris left and we try to flood Shadowland. The problem there is if he plays a goblin in the left, we need some power there. So I think we'll do this. He plays Eliath, early Eliath. That's fine. I don't think we're too mad at that actually. Debris into probably save the hazmat, so. Other option is man thing. Tough, tough decision. I don't think we actually save the hazmat. I think we have to go debris and then just play the hazmat out. That way we can loot cage man thing next turn. Do we have any like, can loot cage win Shadowland? I'm not sure. Plays cannonball that moves left, unfortunately for us. Now, if we can get our Annihilus, we're, we're pretty happy. Did not get the Annihilus. Um, Luke Cage left does win. Man Thing mid is uh, pretty good as well. What can he play here? I don't think he really can output it. I don't know what his last card is, um, but Nebula, Selene, Jeff, Ravana, Green Goblin, Hope, Hobgoblin, none of that is gonna do well enough so i think we're good i don't think we're really afraid of anything goes hope goes jeff can we put enough power mid? i don't know if that's quite enough oh it is just barely gg oh this deck is fun that's so fun the <laughs> crack into luke cage for 14 power is insane uh gg nick that was that was awesome what's your um 
and so it goes also if you guys i'm pretty sure he's a streamer uh don't quote me on that but if he is i'm going to put a a link to his channel and all that stuff in the description so make sure you go follow him i really like the deck he was playing that was really interesting uh interesting take i want to know what that last card is i assume it's a nihilus um we didn't get that in nihilus battle if you were playing a nihilus but gg man that was awesome uh try out this deck everyone who's watching the video and as usual if you love all things marvel snap make sure you like subscribe the bell i'll see you in the next one